Hey Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from Photoshop Cafe and today I've got another one minute tip for you. I'm going to show you how to make any photograph look better, a lot better, in less than a minute. In fact, I bet you it's going to take less than a minute. I'm even going to throw a bonus tip in at the end just for you. So by the way guys, I changed my camera settings and my lighting a little bit. Um, drop a comment, let me know, do you think it looks better? All right guys, without further ado, let's get started in Photoshop. So here we've got this photograph and... I am going to put a minute right now, go. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate the layer right there. Step two, change it to overlay mode. Step three, we choose filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And now we want to set it just to the point, you know, where, see there it's too far. There it's kind of not enough. Yeah, just that nice point where it gets all fuzzy. Drop the opacity all the way to zero. And now just dial it in a little bit. And we look at that before and after. And to show you that it doesn't just work on people pictures, let's go here. We're going to do this landscape, three steps, duplicate, change the blending mode to overlay, and add a blur. Filter, blur, and we'll just apply the previous Gaussian blur. Take that opacity all the way to zero and just crank it up a little bit. All right, looking good. So now one of the things that you may say is, hey, we're losing shadows in the darks. So here's the bonus tip right now. Grab that under effects, click on blending options. We're going to see this. Now what we do is we just take the shadows on the top layer, drag it across until that detail starts to be recovered. And it's very kind of harsh and posterized. Hold down the Alt or the Option key, split the triangle, drag it to the left, and now you can see we're not plugging up the blacks like we were before. We're just applying that effect. So there we go, guys. What did you think of that? Have you seen it before? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is something I apply a little bit of it to almost every photo because what it does is it gives an extra punch of contrast, not just in the tones, but also in the colors. And if we go back, now that the tip's done here, if we go back and look at the hair, if we look at this before, and after, a lot of the time I see retouching and the hair looks like straw, but look at this, it makes it look beautiful, soft, and silky, as well as the skin. So anyway, guys, smash that like button into dust. If you're not part of the Cafe Crew, hit that subscribe button right now, and you'll get a new tutorial at least once a week. So thanks, guys. Uh, drop a comment. Let me know what you'd like to learn next. Thank you for joining me on this video, and until next time, I'll see you at the Cafe.